Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. It is 12.45pm on a Wednesday Australian Eastern Standard Time. And since I spoke to you about Lebanon last week on Facebook on the Live, much has happened. Russia has become involved. We have it, Russia, well, Putin himself sharing that he will stand with Lebanon and Iran. But I have a few questions for you. A few questions to ask yourself. Are there war crimes occurring by Israel, by Netanyahu, currently in Lebanon? Is the Geneva Convention being applied in Lebanon? Is the injustice happening to civilians in Lebanon because of Israel's stand on October the 7th, 2023, that had nothing to do with the Lebanon. Rather, it was a political group in Lebanon, Hezbollah, that Israel has its right to defend against. Now, an advocate for Israel says, we have the right to defend Israel. And yes, they do. But I am livid. They have a right to defend Israel, but they do not have a right to destroy Lebanon. It, they have already killed the leader and commanders of Hezbollah. They're gone. Hezbollah is weakened. Now Israel is telling us that it's after Hezbollah's weaponry and that Hezbollah are hiding among civilians. Children that I saw this morning are suffering. It is heartbreaking. I just wanted, well, I did have a cry, actually. They were in Beirut. Then you get the north of, sorry, the south of Lebanon, where there are hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands, of residents who are being afraid to stay, so they walk into Syria for refuge because of the bombing that Israel continues to commit in Lebanon. If Israel and Netanyahu really wanted to get Hezbollah's equipment, why don't they go to the root? Why don't they go to the source? This is becoming unacceptable on all fronts. Israel is destroying Lebanon when they should be going to the suppliers of Hezbollah, which is Iran. If they are really truthful about wanting to destroy now that they've got the commander, his leaders and their families, Hezbollah's equipment will go to the root, to the source, Iran. Get out of Lebanon. You are not required to stay in Lebanon any longer. You have destroyed northern Lebanon, uh, some of our ancient cities, our capital Beirut, civilians by the thousands have been killed way beyond what you have killed, what was killed on October the 7th, 2023. This is not our war. Hezbollah is not ours. Yes, there are political government in Lebanon, but go to the source, which is Iran. Are war crimes being committed by Netanyahu? In my research, I believe so. He's already up for war crimes. He is already up for war crimes in his own country. And this is another issue that requires another video. Netanyahu is a Zionist. Please do not mistake Zionism for Judaism. They're completely different. Zionism was created way back with the Rothschilds 
and maybe even a little before that, but they had got the wheel rolling. It's a political regime. It is not a Judaism regime, and a lot of Jews do not go for Zionism. This is a mistake we're making. Netanyahu is a Zionist. And whenever Israel did, long, did wrong, for those of you out there that are Christians, what did God do? He gave them consequences. He gave them a lot of chances. And when they continued to disobey, as Netanyahu was doing, destroying our country, displacing thousands of people, and today I saw something that was so heinous, disgraceful and atrocious. What is it declaring? IDF soldiers, Israeli Defence Forces, put their Israel flag on southern Lebanon. What does that mean, dear people? This is outrageous. Where is the United States of America? Where is France? Where are our allies for Lebanon? What's Saudi Arabia doing? Please explain. Why isn't anyone rising up for Lebanon that is in the sphere of our allies? This is not right. This is hinging, if not already, on a war crime and it's totally broken the human rights in the Geneva Convention without a doubt. Without a doubt. Now, let me share with you. In uh, the Bible, Moses was inundated with having to lead Israel. God shared with them, okay then, what I want you to do is delegate judges over people. That's what he did. In Second Chronicle, Jehoshaphat also applies judges, right? And listen to what God thinks about injustice. Yes, this is applied to Israel, but it's still talking about injustice. Second Chronicles... Chapter 19, verse 7. Now, let the fear of the Lord be on you, meaning on Israel. Judge carefully, for with the Lord our God there is no injustice or partiality or bribery. What's happening in Lebanon currently is an injustice. And I believe it has it is now in the sphere of a war crime since the last two weeks. Go and research Israel and find for yourself Netanyahu is up for war crimes by the Israeli courts. He is. Our country should not be further attacked anymore. Our allies are just as accountable for not stopping Israel. Yes, Israel has, has the right to defend itself, but it doesn't have the right to continue to attack Lebanon, continue to have civilians being killed, suffered, displaced, frightened, if you saw the video I saw this morning of the children in Beirut, it broke my heart. They can't go to school. They were all in a circle being interviewed, discussing what's happening. They're petrified. There are strikes going on in Beirut, in southern Lebanon, heading into northern Lebanon. This is now an atrocity. Lebanese everywhere. You need to stand up, whatever country you're from or in. This is my part, helping my people in Melbourne, Australia. This is my part. What are you doing on your part to stand for Lebanon, to stand and make the leaders and our allies accountable, to stand against this atrocity that Israel, that Netanyahu is doing on Lebanon? If he requires to destroy Hezbollah's equipment, I will repeat, 
go to those who supply the equipment, Iran. You know the Iran that your President Obama, the criminal, who also, in days to come, you're going to hear a lot about the Obamas. He gave billions of US dollars to Iran so they could form a nuclear weapon. Oh, yes, they put certain sanctions on it, but what a whole lot of nonsense. That was just to keep the people calm, dear people. I implore Lebanese everywhere, wherever you are, we need to stand for, Is for Lebanon. We need to call out Israel. Israel requires to come out of Lebanon. Enough is enough. This is not our war. This is Israel and Iran's war. Stop using our nation, destroying our people, our future. And do what is right and just. For you will be judged, Netanyahu. All of you will be judged. This is not Lebanon's war. Please, something requires to be done. Our government is in disarray. We haven't had a president for two years. Our economy is in disarray for years. Last year, the banks closed overnight. And let me share something with you. Western nations, America, Australia, England, Canada, Germany, France. If you think you're going to escape this, you're not. Because if this war extends, and it will if Netanyahu doesn't stop, it's going to reach here. And how is it going to reach here? Economically, politically, geographically. Because we would have to go to war like we did with the criminal law war of Iraq that should never have happened but did under the crime of President George Bush Jr. That's what's going to happen. Don't think that any one of you are going to escape. None of you are. Stop being afraid of what other people are going to say about you. Stop being afraid where the relatives don't agree with you. Stop being afraid of being censored on social media. Justice needs to be called out and required. Injustice needs to be called out and required. Lebanese everywhere need to stand up united and tell Israel to stop. It's enough. They need to now focus their concentrations on the root of the problem, which is Iran, not Lebanon. We are a small country trying to survive. We have had wars upon wars that have not been our wars, but people who are interfering in our issues, people who come into our country, raise up their political groups, we become the proxy and we suffer for it. This is injustice and this needs to stop now. Please, all Lebanese, unite and make your voices known. Thank you. Au revoir.